magnetic field induction or magnetic flux density at a point due to a very long straight conductor carrying current. So in the diagram xy uh, be the infinitely long straight conductor xy be a straight conductor of infinite length a current I flows through this conductor XY from the end X to Y. P is a point at a, per at a perpendicular distance A uh, from the straight conductor and uh, we can denote the oblique distance of the end Y from the point P. Also, we can denote the oblique distance of the end X from the point P. Now, uh, PD is the perpendicular distance, that means perpendicular distance is small a, a equal to PD, which is the perpendicular distance of the point P from the conductor XY. We have to find the magnetic field induction or magnetic flux density, that is B equal question mark at P. The oblique distance YP of the end Y uh, with the perpendicular distance A makes an angle phi 2 in clockwise direction. The oblique distance of the end x from the point P makes an angle phi 1 with respect to the perpendicular distance A in anticlockwise direction. We know that magnetic flux density or magnetic field induction, magnetic field induction Magnetic field induction at the point P at a perpendicular distance A from a long straight conductor XY or A from a straight conductor of infinite length is given by magnetic field induction at the point P due to the straight conductor due to the straight conductor XY. due to the straight conductor xy of finite length. First we shall consider the conductor of finite length then uh, straight conductor of infinite length will be discussed. Due to the straight conductor xy of, in, uh, of finite length is given by v equal mu 0 by 4 pi i by a current i by a is the perpendicular distance of the point p under bracket sin phi 2 plus sin phi 1 bracket closed. So this is the general expression of magnetic field induction at the point P at a perpendicular distance A from a straight conductor of finite length carrying current I and this is equation 1. This is equation 1. If if the straight conductor XY is of infinite length, if the straight conductor XY is of infinite length, means the straight conductor is very long of infinite length is infinite length comma the end y and uh, x the end y and x will be at infinite at infinity so we can draw the diagram so here the end y uh, is assumed to be at infinite distance and also the end x is assumed to be at infinite distance from the point p this is the point p 
and a is the perpendicular distance of the point p from the straight conductor x y and this is the oblique distance y p of the end y as the end y is at infinite distance hence the oblique distance y p will be almost perpendicular to the perpendicular distance a hence we can say that the angle subtended by the oblique distance yp with the perpendicular distance a that is phi 2 will be equal to 90 degree phi 2 equal to 90 degree in y and x will be will exist will exist at infinity will exist at infinity not exists it should be will exist at infinite distance at infinite distance infinite distance and the oblique distance of the end y and x of the ends y and x from the point P, from the point P will be, from the point P will be almost perpendicular, almost perpendicular It is the perpendicular distance and yp and xp are the uh, oblique distances will be almost perpendicular to the so here the for the oblique distance under bracket we can write py and px of the ends y and x from the point p will all uh, will be almost perpendicular to the perpendicular distance pd equals small a perpendicular distance pd that is small a of the point P of the point P from the straight conductor from the straight conductor x y therefore P y perpendicular to PD, PY is the oblique distance of the end Y, PD is the perpendicular distance of the point P from the conductor and uh, therefore phi 2 is equal to 90 degree. Similarly, PX is almost perpendicular to PD. Similarly, PX means oblique distance of the end X from the point P is uh, almost perpendicular to and the perpendicular distance PD, therefore phi 1 is also 90 degree. So phi 1 is also 90 degree. Putting these values in equation 1, Now the end y in the diagram, the end y will be at infinity or at infinite distance, at infinity. Hence, Py, the oblique distance Py will be perpendicular to Pd. Therefore, the angle subtended by the oblique distance Py with the perpendicular distance Pd is phi 2. Phi 2 will be 90 degree. In this way, we we can explain that uh, phi 2 is 90 degree. Therefore, B equal, putting these values in equation 1, mu 0 by 4 pi, it was mu 0 by 4 pi i by a current by perpendicular distance sin phi 2 plus sin phi 1 equal mu 0 by 4 pi i by a sin 90 degree plus sin 90 degree 
where the two ends of the conductor that means the end y and x will be at infinite distance sin 90 degree plus sin 90 degree therefore b equal mu 0 by 4 pi 2 i by a twice of current divided by perpendicular distance 2 i by a b equal mu 0 by 4 pi 2 i by a B equal mu 0 by 2 i by i twice of current divided by perpendicular distance. So this is the magnetic field induction or magnetic flux density or magnetic flux density at a point due to a long straight conductor carrying current or due to a very long straight conductor carrying current I due to a very long straight conductor long straight conductor or due to a straight conductor of infinite length or due to a straight conductor, current carrying straight conductor of infinite length, straight conductor of infinite length, infinite length. V equal mu 0 by 4 pi to I by A. So, in this way, we can find the magnetic flux density at a point due to a very long straight conductor carrying current I. So, at the point P, magnetic field induction will be acting in this way inwards. If current flows upwards, current flows in vertically upward direction through the straight conductor XY and uh, the magnetic field induction will be acting inwards. Due to the current I, the point P exists on the right hand side, that's why magnetic field induction acts inwards. Plus means inward direction of magnetic field induction. 